Hey YouTube, so I uh, am running on-call service this weekend, and last night I went to a McDonald's restaurant, and I guess we just picked up a couple of the local accounts. Um, and um, I've mentioned in other videos that uh, I came up through residential install. Uh, I have done my fair share of uh, light commercial installs and uh, light commercial service. But this is all leading into a question of the day. Um, I have run into multiple systems in the residential side that I've never seen before. Uh, strange applications or different brands and in the residential side of the industry, um, I'm going to just start saying in residential, uh, the systems are all basically the same. I'm not saying that commercial units are not same, the same as far as basic functionality and control for the most part, but every time I've run across something I've never seen before, um, actually the first time I ran across the geothermal, I simply smiled and nodded when the customer was telling me what the problem was and then started with what I knew and continued until I ran into something that didn't make sense or something that wasn't working. And so my question is, what is your response when you end up at a call with a system you've never seen or don't know everything about? You know, your basic Goodman air handlers, your basic Lennox carrier train, American Standard, Amana, all of those systems are integrally the same. They just have different stickers on them. Um, they've all got contacts, relays, and circuit boards, motors, capacitors, uh, stuff like that. And so when I got to the McDonald's last night, uh, they said that the dining room system was not cooling and they. Um, pointed me to the ladder, to the roof access, and I grabbed my gear and climbed up. And when I got on the roof, there's four or five systems up there. Luckily, the way that they lay them out, those units serve the space directly below and a little bit around directly below. So finding the dining room system was very easy. But um, the system was a 20 ton York uh, heat pump package unit with a 175 amp main breaker just for that unit and you know the guys that run commercial all the time are not really gonna think that's much but when the largest system you usually deal with is five tons residentially a 20 ton is definitely something to make you sit back and think, damn, somebody really put a lot of wires and a lot of contacts, a lot of fuses, a lot of capacitors, and all kinds of crazy crap in there. But, like I said, I've never been frightened by a system I never saw. And so I started removing panels because I didn't know where I was supposed to start looking. The compressors were pretty easy because they sit right underneath the dual condenser coils and they're exposed behind a wire grate so you can see those without opening any panels but as far as finding the control section, the blower compartment, the coil compartment and etc. I had no idea where to start. I mean the unit's 30 feet long and 10 feet wide stands as tall as I am and there's panels all over the place so I started pulling panels off and looking for where 
I would find my first problem uh, rather than you know freaking out and saying oh I, I don't even know what I'm doing because I do I just don't know that specific unit and how to make access to all the stuff that I need to look at um, interestingly enough the first panel I opened up is actually part the, the panel that exposed the, the biggest part of the issue as to why it wasn't cooling and um, I will splice in my picture here. Once I got the blower belt back on and the wheel or the pulley remounted, I um, cycled power and brought the system back on again. One of the compressors was running very good R22 pressures and the other one was actually running a little bit out of a little bit out of range. Uh, suction was comparable to the first one, but my high side pressure was up there around where you would find 410A systems. So we have got the system running intermittently or temporarily with a bent wheel and a bent pulley and one compressor that is running a little high head pressure, a lot high head pressure. And we're going to go back when we've got a little bit more daylight and time to fiddle around with it. But um, that's it. The question of the day. What do you do when you come across a system you've never seen before? All that being said, when I went to a call the other day, I was confused with a refrigeration tech rather than an air conditioning tech. And when he started telling me that his chillers for his vegetables weren't cooling and etc., I immediately thought of heavy diesel and big refrigeration and how they would laugh at me when I kind of had a cold chill run up my back thinking that maybe I was expected to try to figure those units out. Like I said, they're all the same, but knowing where to start is a big part of experience and my hat's off to heavy diesel, big refrigeration for their experience and their skills. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, and we will see you on the next one.